Hey boys and girls, welcome to Main Street Live! Yeah! It's so good to see you all here on this promotion Sunday. If you were a kindergartner last year and now you're a first grader, raise your hand. Hey guys, welcome to our super fun time. If you're a fourth grader and now you're a fifth grader and you're kind of like the big kid on campus, raise your hand. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Way to go. We're so glad you're here. We're looking to you to show some leadership. Yeah. Well, I want to tell you about a couple things. Number one, our class is responsible for offering for two students in Haiti. We have Diamuel and Daniela, and our class is the one that sponsors them. So each week, remember to bring your tithes and offerings because we're helping some students in Haiti and they really need our help. And we're the only ones that can help them. So God is using us to help them. So remember that. Also, remember to bring your Bibles. We want this to be a Bible class. So please remember to bring your Bibles each week. That would be great. Well, today we're talking about a Bible verse. And the Bible verse, Mr. Corey will tell you more about, but it involves the wise seeing evil and hiding themselves. But people who are childish proceed and there are consequences, which aren't very good at all. Now we've been talking about wisdom and wisdom is kind of like a superpower. It's seeing things from an above perspective, seeing things from God's perspective, which is super cool. And so when you are looking around, do you ever see danger and say, hmm, I should hide, I should get away. Or do you say, oh, that looks like fun. I'm gonna go get myself in trouble. True story, one of my children who will remain nameless is not supposed, supposed to walk across the road. And this person walked across the road when a car was speeding and fortunately the car slammed on its brakes and didn't hit her. But the point is, is that she needed to be looking for danger and hiding herself. And in this case, the person was speeding. They were breaking the rules. Well, imagine if you could like see through walls, you could see where the danger was. And so I thought I would show you like a card trick. And uh, so pick a card. You know what? Let's go to the girl side. Girl side over here. Tell me when to stop. No, 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 no. Okay, right here. Looks good. So, um, you know, girls are gonna pick probably something that is, I'm gonna say hearty. Is it a heart? I, I, like a bunch of hearts. Could it be a bunch of hearts? Um, and, you know, boys are kind of odd. They are. Girls are kind of even. So it'd be an even number. Like maybe um, the eight of hearts. Good job. Okay, boys, your turn. Let's see if I can see through a wall. All right. Boys, tell me when to stop. Okay. Hook it back. Right where? Okay. All right. Right there. Hmm. What would the boys pick? Well, the boys are probably looking for a really powerful card. Something that could be, depending on the game you're playing, a wild card or even the highest number. In other games, it could be the lowest number. So that would be an ace. And if the girls picked a heart, the boys would copy girls because they think girls are cool, but they wouldn't want to be the exact same. So is there a card that's sort of like a heart, but it's black instead of red, and it has a stick on the top? I think we call those spades. Is it the ace of spades? Ha, look at that. I got it right. Now, I know you're saying, Mr. Joel, I'm not impressed. You probably stopped the video and learned all of that. So I'm gonna show you your trick. Your card was the ace of spades, right? I know it's hard to see, but I need my table. Is that your card? You would say, no, it's not. Okay, how about that? Is that your card? No, it's not, all right. How about this one? Is that your card? No, it's not, okay. How about this one? Is that your card? Man, there's a lot of twos here. All right, so this hand's up here. All right, so you're gonna draw a line and cut right through the middle. Where do you wanna cut it? 
Okay, you wanna cut right through the middle. All right, so that leaves these two cards in the middle. Na 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 na, na 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 na. And we have the right, the boy side, and the left, the girl side. Mr. Corey, you're gonna be the tiebreaker. Since I can't hear you, I'm going to assume you're gonna go with the girls. Boom! 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 Yeah, that was actually a trick. It was pretty cool. Well, we're not gonna hear a trick. We're gonna see something even more amazing where sometimes when you do not act wisely, God may enter something else into the picture to help you make the right choice. And in today's story, the man was not wise. Somebody else was and saved his life. So let's sit up straight. Let's point our nose right to the front and let's listen to the story.